What's going on guys? It's James here and welcome to your next machine learning interview preparation tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be focusing on the linear algebra side of machine learning, looking at the question, what is broadcasting in connection to linear algebra? We'll look at linear algebra and computer science concepts and why broadcasting is useful. We'll look into uh, NumPy broadcasting, computational linear algebra, and then we'll look at four examples that cover NumPy broadcasting, where they succeed and don't succeed. All right, let's dive in. So in the linear algebra, we have several types of mathematical objects, scalars, vectors, and matrices. A scalar, you can think of as a single number, like negative five and three. A vector is a series of numbers that can be in a row or column. And a vector has a magnitude and direction. A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers arranged in one or more rows and columns. Now in computer science, we deal with arrays, which are a collection of items stored in a single dimension or multiple dimensional space. A single dimensional array can be thought of as a vector, while a multidimensional array can be thought of as a matrix. Now we're gonna look at an example of matrix arithmetic operation where we add a matrix and a vector together. And we'll see how computer science broadcasting can be helpful in uh, the case of if we were just trying to do this only with linear algebra. So first we'll look at, we have a three by three matrix, and then now we have a one by three uh, vector. And without broadcasting, if we try to add these two matrices together, what we end up getting is an undefined result. And that is because uh, when adding or subtracting two matrices together, they need to have the same dimension. So that's where broadcasting comes in. On the computational linear algebra side, we can use NumPy broadcasting. And what that'll allow us to do is NumPy broadcasting will take this vector and it will add it to each row in the matrix, resulting in a new matrix. So if we look at just the first row, one plus one equals two, two plus two equals four, one plus three equals four. And then that similar operations apply to each of the remaining rows, we get that new matrix. Now let's look at NumPy broadcasting and uh, the definition of NumPy broadcasting from the documentation. So. NumPy broadcasting provides a means of vectorizing array operations so that looping occurs in C instead of Python. It does this without ne making needless copies of data and usually leads to efficient algorithm implementations. So if we go back to this example real quick, when we look at the vector, NumPy is smart enough to just take that vector and add it to each row in the matrix. It doesn't actually go and create a new copy of uh, the matrix to be the same shape as the matrix we're trying to do the addition with, it, it can just take that vector and add it directly to the matrix and get the new matrix result. Now, when using NumPy broadcasting, we have to also acknowledge the rules. So the rule, the main rule is that the size of the trailing axes for both arrays must be either the same size or one of them must be one. So we'll look at some uh, cases where it works and where it doesn't work um, when acknowledging this rule. So let's say that we have an image and we're trying to scale the image with a value, with three values. So if we look at the image's last dimension and the scale 1D array's last dimension, we see that they're equal. This last dimension is also the trailing axes for both of these arrays. Since they're equal, we can perform the scale operation on that image and get a result image. Now, here's a case where it doesn't work. So we have A array, it's a 2D array. We have B, which is a 1D array. And we look at the last dimension, they don't match. Three columns doesn't match two columns. So broadcasting would fail in this case. Then we see case three. Case three, we look at the last dimension and we see for A, it's three columns. We see for B, it's one column. 
Now, if we look at our rule, it says for both arrays, the last dimension, one of them must be one. And in this case, the B is one. So broadcasting would work in this case. Now we get to our four examples of NumPy wide broadcasting. So three examples we'll see work for NumPy wide broadcasting and the final example will actually fail. So first what I'm gonna have you do is import the NumPy wide library so that we can use the broadcasting functions. So feel free to pause the video and then when ready, I'm pausing. I'll go through the code as well with you guys. So we'll import NumPy. All right, we'll run the code, it works. Now we're gonna look at the first example. So we're given a scalar and a one dimensional array. You can also think of it as a row vector and we need to add them. Now, if we were to do this using linear algebra on paper, we wouldn't be able to add them because the scalar and the vector have different dimensions. So we're gonna use NumPy wide broadcasting. Now, I'm gonna have you write the Python code and then also think about will broadcasting work and what's happening with broadcasting when the computation is being done. And uh, when you're ready, feel free to unpause the video and then I'll go through the solution with you. Okay, so we're going to initialize the NumPy 1D array. So we're going to say v1 equals np.array. This is square brackets two, five, eight, and then we're going to initialize the scalar s1 equals two. We're going to add the scalar to the vector. We get a new result vector r1 equals v1 plus s1, and then we're going to print the result. So if we look at will NumPy broadcasting to succeed, in this case it will because it meets our requirement for the broadcasting rule. We have, when we look at both arrays, we have this scalar that NumPy treats as an array that has uh, for its last dimension one column and that meets the requirement. So when we do shift enter, we see uh, when considering the NumPy broadcasting computation, um, the broadcasting is adding the scalar to each value in the vector stretching the scalar across the vector, allowing us to get this result vector for seven and 10. And again, that's just through addition. So it looks good. Then we get to example two. We're given a scalar and a two dimensional array. You can think of it as a matrix. We need to add them together. So again, let's think about if we were to do this using linear algebra on paper, the, we wouldn't be able to do it because the scalar and the matrix have different dimensions. And so we use broadcasting, NumPy wide broadcasting. So feel free to pause the video and write the Python code and then also think about the answers to the two questions. And then when you're ready, unpause the video and I'll go through the solution with you. Yeah. So uh, we're going to initialize NumPy wide 2D array. So we have a matrix one and one and p dot array. And then we have two square brackets because we're dealing with a two dimensional array. One, four, two, and then three, five, six. Okay. Now we're going to initialize the scalar three, and then we're going to get the result matrix m1 plus s2 and we'll print the results all right so will numpy succeed again if we think about our rule it says that for both arrays at least one must have the last dimension be a one and the scalar does in this case one column the scalar has one column so when we do shift enter we run it and we think about numpy broadcasting what is happening during the computation the broadcasting is going to take that scalar and add it to each value in the matrix. It's going to stretch the scalar across the matrix to do the arithmetic operation, getting our result matrix. Four, seven, five, six, eight, nine. That looks correct. Then we get to example three and we see we're given a one dimensional array. You can think of it as a row vector, a two dimensional array. You can think of it as a matrix and we need to add them together. So in linear algebra, Again, if we were to do it, uh, we wouldn't be able to add the matrix in the row vector because they have different dimensions. So 
we'll be doing a lot of things with NumPy Broadcasting. So um, write the Python code to perform the arithmetic operation and then also think about uh, think about the answers to the questions while you write it. And then when you're ready, feel free to unpause the video and I'll go through the solution with you. All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to initialize our 1D array. So V2 equals and p dot array one two three and then let's do the same let's initialize the 2d array the matrix and two equals np dot array two brackets and one two one three zero one and finally we got zero two and four Okay, now let's get that result matrix m2 plus v2 matrix plus vector. And then we'll print the result. Okay, so the broadcasting, will it succeed? If we look at the vector and the matrix, we look at their last dimension, we see that both have three columns and they do match. So it should succeed broadcasting. Then when doing the computation, what's happening with broadcasting is that the vector two is being added to each row in the matrix. It's being stretched across the entire matrix to perform the addition operation. And this, vector, this matrix looks correct. And now we're on to example four. So we're given a one dimensional array you can think of as a vector, a two dimensional array you can think of as a matrix and we're required to add them together. So similarly, like the last problem, if we were to do it with linear algebra on paper, we can't because the matrix and the row vector have different dimensions. So let's let's try this with NumPy broadcasting to see if it works. And as you're writing the Python code, also think about the answer to these two questions. Um, so feel free to unpause the video when you're ready, and I'll also go through the solution with you. Okay, so we're going to say, we can initialize the vector v3 equals np dot array one two matrix three p dot array okay one two three one two three okay and what you see we're going to add it now m3 plus v3 Going to print it. Will it work? Will the broadcasting work? In this case, when we look at the vectors last dimension and the matrix's last dimension, we see that they don't match up. We see the vector has two columns and the matrix has three columns. So broadcasting won't work. Uh, but let's try to run the code and see what happens. So we see that there's an output error that says value error operands could not broadcast together with shapes. And that again goes back to the last dimensions of these two, um, the, the vector and the matrix uh, not matching. So uh, I hope you guys got a lot from this tutorial and look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. All right, have a good one, take care.